Hey, what's up, traders? This is Dave FX Hunter, and welcome to the weekly Forex forecast for the 5th March. So, before we start, I want to warn you that there is a war on the world. You might see that. Uh, and uh, anything on the charts can change very quickly. So, be very careful, guys, because any technical analysis, uh, when some breaking news uh, about the conflict comes, uh, the markets can drop sharply or it can even fire up, you know. And as well, I have seen a big decoupling of the market correlations between the currencies. That means the big money are being moved right now. So uh, be very careful. So let's start with S&P 500 right now. Okay, so we can see that the banks actually added some longs uh, in the previous two weeks, but last week they closed some and they added some more shorts, right? So it's a uh, minus 15K change in the contracts while the price is moving uh, in this range. So what does it mean? Uh, honestly, I don't want to predict anything in here because we are the below this daily trend. We are a slightly break up above this uh, four hour trend, right? So uh, where the price will go next, uh, hard to say, you know, it can of course break uh, higher and continue up. But in my opinion, I don't feel like I want to invest in uh, the stock markets, especially uh, during the war and during the uh, when this uh, market is uh, like on this top, right? Because if you look to the bigger picture, we are actually here, somewhere here, right? So there was a huge movement after this. Uh, there was something like this. There was this Corona drop and then the market is crazy. And right now we are in the, this pullback. We are actually somewhere here, right? So will it continue up like this? Of course it can happen, but uh, I personally wouldn't do that. I think that many people are pretty preferring now taking money out of the stock markets because the fear is really big when the US will step into that conflict it will be huge okay uh, next one is oil oil is of course a huge uh, trade uh, because the Russia is a big exporter right and there is a huge now demand is a green deal all these things so what's going on right now uh, this, it's in the weekly daily for hours uptrend of course uh, now we are in this weekly weekly zone which was tested then the price drop and it's attacking it again right so it will most likely go up higher for me uh, I will skip this trade. you know I don't need to anything I had a trade in here I get out on the break even um, but now it's you know it's never too high the price is never too high for the bulls right so if you are so bullish uh, you can do that but i skip that uh in the in the cot of course it looks very bullish right so it can of course continue but for the entry i would need to see some uh, proper pullback right so okay it's, it's oil gold of course uh, when the war is going on we can see the people moving to the safe uh, safe asset which is the gold and we can see it in the cot we are getting into the most extreme levels the shorts being closed right so that's very bullish and as well this volume i've been looking uh, to the left on the charts i never seen the such volume right so where the gold is going uh, most likely it can double this range right so if this range is from the uh, 1600 to the 2000 so it's like a 400 then we most likely to see will be able to see something like from this top 2000 so gold can go something like a 2400 even higher it all depends how long all this contract will be will be uh, going on contract sorry this uh, conflict so um, yeah i'm gold <laughs> i'm bullish uh, this is Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is uh, currently a little bit struggling, you know, as so many people thought it's going to be a new gold and this stuff. I think it's going to go higher, but uh, especially right now when uh, many people realizing uh, how the censorship is going on. But what we what I think we still need to see, we have this uh, support here, right around the 30 and uh, that's uh, where the actually where the price bounced in the May last year and right now we, we've been uh, like here you know many people thinking the bottom is in you know this and that but I think uh, here is a huge liquidity and Bitcoin will probably do this it I think we cannot go up uh, without visiting these lows right as it happens here in the previous year in 2000 
was it 19 or 20 uh or it was 20 when the price was ranging like this then we had this huge manipulation down to the 3k or something like that and then a huge trend started right so that's what i'm thinking here uh has to happen as well so i think we will see some huge drop and then we could continue higher if this don't happen i don't think uh it's it's bullish yet uh same case for the ethereum so we have i think we need to see drop down here and then price going higher right so uh i definitely don't recommend to short it even you can make money on that but uh, i don't do that what i do i personally hold uh, btc and ethereum uh, on my ledger and what as well what i do i want to show you it's what I'm doing in the FTX. Uh, it's uh, the bot, which is actually the buying the lows and selling the highs. And it's working on the very small time frames. And when the price is dropping, I am buying. When it's going up, I am selling, right? So it's working like that. You can see I had the buy limit. So if the price drops, I buy some, then uh, I sell, right? And it, of course, if this uh, positions is filled, the sell is going lower, right? And it's not the sell like I short and hold a short, but I actually what I'm accumulating in here. So I have uh, I had like a 10k dollars and I'm accumulating Bitcoin, right? And when the price of the Bitcoin goes higher, I sell it. So that's uh, how I work with this 10k. And same thing I'm doing on the Ether, right? So every drop buying and then the moves up selling then again buying buying selling that's something like a, it's a market maker strategy that's what the big banks are doing on the everything they're actually creating the market right so i'm doing this uh, on the crypto with just the part of my portfolio which is good so i now i don't mind if the price is going down okay the next one now back to the forex next one is a dollar i actually had my i actually had my uh, um channel in here which i thought that we we're gonna see a drop but uh if that is not happening and we can see that uh, the weekly and the daily zone was removed the banks are still bullish i think we will most likely see the expansion of this uh, channel and uh, potential move to the another weekly zone that still can happen because even though the dollar was printed so much and it losing its its purchasing power it's still the reserve currency currently but i think it will lose soon this uh, reserve currency uh, status so if the price will do some retracements and it will looks like uh, some bullishness uh, a bullish uh, uh, price section I will definitely be l bullish uh, on the dollar so that's uh, what makes me bearish on the oil on the euro I actually uh, was wrong on the previous analysis because what I can see in here and it's still a little bit confusing for me I'm still seeing that the banks has been accumulating the positions right they have they went from the minus 10k to the 64k right so What's going on here? It's probably uh, they probably in the hedge. Uh, if we because this is non-commercials. If we look to the commercials, we can see they are hedging. Uh, they have uh, these shorts, so they bringing the price lower, and uh, most likely it will come down here, right? So there could be the bigger accumulation going on. So the price is uh, bearish right now. Even the banks are bullish but it could be the position building and uh, the, the most difficult thing uh, on the market is timing it and i believe it's gonna be bullish but uh not yet so i think we go to this level if the price will retrace uh, it will most likely happen but uh, i don't think the market will be so easy to trade it like that you know because what can happen uh, you saw pr probably last week the market can open with the 100 pips gap so if the m sunday opens here we will <laughs> it's gonna be there right so then it's uh, then it's done um next one is aussie and now this is very interesting right look how euro is dropping uh, while the dollar is strong and look what the aussie is doing right but look we are coming into this daily and uh, these two daily zones and this to the channel to this uh, channel so i believe the aussie has a uh, some uh, some more movements uh, for this week before it drop a bit more right so that's what that's my view and now you might thinking like how it can be bullish uh, while it's uh, it has bearish positions while look 
they've been 120k shorts now they are just 90 you know so that's uh the price is moving up on the closing of the shorts so that has a big potential to go up they just closing the shorts they not even buying it they closing the shorts and so that that's how it goes up so as well uh we have the breakthrough the weekly trend line uh daily trend is already up four hours trend is already up so uh something like this boom and then big continuation up is very possible for the aussie so aussie might can be strong uh, for the long term this is a pound pound has a 50 50 uh, position so nothing extra but uh, here what i think gonna happen i was bullish i thought we go up now once we breaking breaking through this through these uh, levels i think we will visit this uh, level and my might it will go down to this uh, bottom of this channel so yeah this is a cat uh i had last week uh, the analysis when where we gonna dip here this actually happened it was nice now it's breaking up and going higher so what happened in here we had the removal of this zone then we have free test of this zone uh, dip to this liquidity and uh, now i think it's ready to go higher so i will be bullish uh, on the bearish on the cat uh, for this week i mean on the cat currency but bullish on the usd cat right uh cot does not doesn't say anything much so we can see when from bullish bearish bullish bearish so uh we must go uh, as the technical analysis say so this is a usd jpy usd jpy if you look to the bigger mark bigger picture you will see something like this right and then arranging so we are here and uh, if you look to the positions it still looks quite bullish but uh maybe there's some profit taking is going on right uh because they had 100k now they had 83k right but not shorts here and if the dollar is uh bullish uh, then might we will see this right so what i'm waiting for here when i want to be very bearish is once something like this happen then uh i'm bearish then i'm very bearish but it still didn't happen and so uh still ranging Pound yen, uh, if the price will retrace, uh, nice short here, right? Okay, next one is Euro JPY. Very similar, if the price will retrace to the 4 hour zones, we will see uh, the short. And uh, this is Aussie JPY as well. Aussie expecting the price to go a bit higher than might some correction as we saw on the Aussie so and the JPY is in this uh, profit taking so it can come down and this is it my friends don't forget to follow me on the trading view and I wish you happy trading bye bye mm -hmm.